morning Antioch Church thank you so much for doing your devotions with me um, as we come to the Lord and seeking him let's just come to God in prayer Lord we thank you so much that we can come to you in the morning seek you Lord we're thankful for just your love and your grace that allows us to know you as you reveal your heart to us through your word and through this, your small, still small voice, O oh God. And as we listen intently to your word, that it would be you, O oh Lord God, that would be whispering your words of truth and life into us, Lord. And we pray, O oh Lord God, that these words would be more than just head knowledge, O oh God, that they would be life to us, it would be words that would nourish our souls and empower us, O oh God, to face the day and to live out with power and with authority the full will that you have for us today to so come and be with us, Lord God. As we pray this in Jesus' name, amen. This morning we are in Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 36. It says, immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already a considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. And Peter got out, got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and be, beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You have little faith, he said. Why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. When they had crossed over, they landed at Jerusalem. When the men of that place recognized Jesus, they sent word to all the surrounding country. People brought all their sick to him and begged him to let the sick just touch the edge of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. Amen. Now this passage, there's a lot being said about what faith really looks like. Um, and, you know, we really do see Peter, who is, um, you know, able to experience something that nobody else in the world other than Jesus was able to experience, which is truly walking on water. And, um, you know, we see that Peter experienced that, experienced this incredible minis um, miracle, and yet at the same time, at the sight of the wind and the waves, he was still scared. And rather than being able to realize like, oh my gosh, what an incredible miracle I'm experiencing right now. He, in the midst of that miracle, allowed doubt to creep in. And um, it prevented him from seeing the fulfillment of that miracle to the end, right? And it's something that's really interesting because as he's walking on this water, it's his doubt that prevents him from really walking on water all the way the circumstances around him and we see what Jesus says you have little faith why did you doubt and it's something that we ourselves must realize that God is calling on us on us to hold on to our faith from the beginning to the end to trust in Jesus right some so many of us have walked with Christ and held on to our faith and experienced the miracle, but 
in a lot of ways, we're just like Peter, where the wind and the waves cause us to doubt and fear. We take our eyes off of Jesus and we begin to sink. There is an important lesson to be learned, though. Peter knew exactly to whom to cry out. Right? Peter, we, uh, we know, was a fisherman. And very likely, Peter was a very good swimmer. Peter was also just off of a boat. Right? He just stepped off of a boat. And for a fisherman, he knows that the boat is the secure place in the open waters. And yet, in that moment, when he is drowning, he cries out to Jesus. And it's such an incredible statement where Peter is talking about and experiencing um, this moment, recognizing that Jesus is the most secure person to cry out to. And so he cries out to Jesus. We also see that the people of, the, of Gennesaret also come to Jesus in faith and they simply want to touch the cloak of Jesus and they are healed because of faith. Jesus tells us that if you had just a mustard seed of faith, you could tell this move, this mountain to be tossed into the sea and it would do so. And God is telling us the power of faith if we would only believe. It's so difficult. It's a, a difficult thing to control. Right? We can't control what we believe. And yet we can fill our minds and fill our hearts with the truth again and again and again and know then what real faith is as we live it out because we are living by faith. Someone once told me prayer is praying for rain and faith is taking an umbrella. Right? And it's us believing that Jesus is going to answer our prayers. Believing that Jesus loves us and is able to do all that we seek for him to do. So let's pray together. Lord, as we come to you, seeking you, we pray, O oh Lord God, that you would perform miracles in our lives. That you would not allow us, O oh Lord God, in our lack of faith and in our doubt to get in the way. But instead, O oh God, you would help us to have faith that move mountains. Have faith, O oh Lord God, to cause us to walk on water. To have the faith, O oh Lord God, that will not only see miracles happen, but see them to the end. So give us that faith, O oh Lord God. We thank you, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, everyone. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay dry. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.